So the year is 1978, and we're going to be visiting a small town called Bath Township in Ohio, where young Stephen Hicks is walking home to his parents' house on a warm day in July, when suddenly he is approached by a young, just-graduated Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer asks Stephen if he needs a ride, and Stephen blindly accepts. And then later he is murdered and starts a unforgiving streak of murder and terror across the United States. And today we're going to be talking about who Jeffrey Dahmer is and what he did, how he got caught, and how the trial went. So first off, we're going to start off with who Jeffrey Dahmer is. And he was born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where most of his murders happened. And he grew up in a family of four, which was a pretty normal family with his father being a chemist and his mother being a stay-at-home mom. But something quickly changed in his life when he ended up murdering 17 people, mostly black, and would perform acts of cannibalism on them and other dismembering and gruesome acts. But one day, and Tracy Edwards was walking through Euclid Square Mall when he was approached also by young Jeffrey Dahmer. And Jeffrey Dahmer then lured him back to his apartment where Tracy somehow managed to escape and contact police where they then went and stormed his apartment and he was raided with little to no struggle at all. And that leads to the trial where despite taking lawyer's advice, Jeffrey Dahmer pled for insanity and throughout three weeks, the jury and the judge decided that he was uh, prosecuted with all 17 acts of murder and dismemberment and cannibalism with no insanity and 15 consecutive life sentences in prison. So today we talked about who Jeffrey Dahmer was and what he did, how he got caught, and how the trial went. That's it.